I'm Justin Pritchard. This is the 2022 Acura MDX A Spec, and in this video, let's answer a popular question. For the same money, should you buy a brand new Honda Pilot or a used Acura MDX? For about $55,000, you're in the ballpark of a brand new 2023 Honda Pilot EXL with wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless charging, two rows of heated seats, a 9-inch color touchscreen with premium audio system, Honda Sensing safety technology, and a 3.5-liter 285-horsepower V6. Second-generation Intelligent Variable Torque Management or IVTM4 all-wheel drive is included. A search of used car listings across the country reveals that shoppers can expect to find a one to two year old unit, that's 2022 or 2023, with about 40 to 50,000 kilometers of former use, for about the same $55,000 as that brand new Pilot EXL. For 2022, the MDX's 3.5 liter V6 made 290 horsepower, and this model debuted Acura's latest fourth generation super handling all wheel drive system, which is standard on all units. At our $55,000 price point, you're likely shopping for a standard issue 2022 MDX with technology package. Since the sportier A-Spec and top-line Platinum Elite grades run used vehicle pricing up past the $60,000 mark pretty quickly. The Honda Pilot entered its all-new fourth generation on sale for model year 2023, making this the first year for this version. The MDX, which shares much of its componentry with the Pilot, entered its fourth generation on sale last year for model year 2022, with a similar ground-up redesign applied. Both machines are built on Honda's global light truck platform, the MDX is built in the East Liberty plant in Anna, Ohio, and the Pilot is built in Lincoln, Alabama. Both machines run a 3.5-liter V6 teamed up with a 10-speed automatic, the engine makes 290 horsepower in the MDX and 285 in the Pilot. Maximum towing capacity is 5,000 pounds for both models when equipped with all-wheel drive, though front drive versions of the Pilot can still tow 3,500 pounds. Both machines do 0 to 60 in the mid to high 6 second range, and both engines will run just fine on regular grade gas, though the MDX recommends premium grade fuel, which will give you a little more power. Though the numbers reveal little in the way of performance differences, one factor to consider in your decision is the all-wheel drive system. Acura's super handling all-wheel drive system offers enhanced handling capabilities and no shortage of agile traction on snow and ice with a proper set of winter tires equipped. For enthusiast drivers active in northern climates in the winter, the MDX will deliver a more engaging driving experience, using the right rubber and drive mode for the situation. The MDX's super handling all-wheel drive system turns the machine into a real blast in the snow, thanks to the latest generation introduced in the 2022 MDX. Even during extreme use in heavy snow with a high risk of getting stuck and the need to use plenty of excessive wheel spin to maintain momentum, the MDX's traction control and throttle management systems felt expertly tuned. It's not a power sliding monster in the deep snow, but I noted strong and confidence inspiring performance, even in situations like this where some all wheel drive systems overheat and require you to park and let things cool down before carrying on. There is a slight fuel economy difference between these two machines. Despite weighing 300 pounds more and delivering a slight power advantage, the MDX is also slightly easier on fuel than the Pilot when comparing models equipped with all-wheel drive. The Honda Pilot uses 11.5 liters per 100 kilometers combined, while the MDX uses 11.2. That difference is slight, but if you drive 25,000 kilometers per year and pay $1.50 for a liter of gas, that's an annual savings of $113 from the MDX. Given its 70 liter fuel tank, that's roughly a free tank of gas every year versus the Pilot, which is a small but notable perk about the Acura. The 2022 MDX will roll on 20-inch wheels when equipped with the technology package and 19-inch wheels without. The $55,000 Pilot EXL grade rolls on 18-inch wheels instead. This means that winter tires and replacement tires for the Pilot will likely run a few hundred dollars less per set. 
The pilot's 18-inch wheel size may also be more appropriate for maximum ride comfort when drivers are frequently active in rough road or trail settings too. Those 19 or 20-inch wheels look great, but they can cause ride comfort to take a significant hit on bumpier roads. Be sure to get an insurance quote for each machine as you compare your alternatives too. The pricier premium branded MDX may be more expensive to insure, though many factors will affect your specific rate. It pays to know before you decide. Though they are built on the same platform, the MDX and Pilot are not the same size. The wheelbase of each machine is identical, the Pilot is about 37mm longer than the MDX and slightly narrower too. The Pilot is also nearly 100mm taller. The difference in shape leads to differences on board as well. The Pilot has room for up to 8 passengers, while the MDX only offers 7 passenger seating. With all seats folded, the Pilot delivers about 9% more cargo space, with an additional 3% advantage in cargo space available behind the third row. The 2023 Honda Pilot has more headroom, shoulder room, and legroom in all three rows compared to the MDX. The largest difference is in third row legroom, where the Honda Pilot has an 88mm or 12% advantage. Second row headroom is 53mm or 5.5% superior in the Pilot as well. When it comes to shoulder room, the Pilot offers more space in second and third rows compared to the MDX. The largest difference is in third row shoulder room, where the Honda Pilot is 110mm or 7.9% more spacious than the MDX. Point is, if you'll frequently transport larger passengers in the second or third rows of your new SUV, they'll find notably more space in the Pilot. When it comes to safety equipment, there's little separating the two choices here. Both the used Acura MDX and new Honda Pilot feature a standard array of must-have safety tech, with the latest Pilot gaining features like traffic jam assist and traffic sign recognition that were first seen in the MDX when it launched last year. Both vehicles have earned the highest possible rating of Top Safety Pick Plus from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS, but neither had been tested by the NHTSA at this writing. So with little separating these two machines in terms of performance and safety equipment, shoppers with a priority on cargo volume and overall height may lean towards the slightly larger Pilot, while fans of an upscale and more luxurious interior that's rich with detail and a more upscale exterior style will likely lean towards the MDX. With its smaller wheels and thicker tires, the Pilot EXL is likely the best choice here for shoppers frequently traveling over very rough terrain, though the MDX's winter-crushing all-wheel drive system will likely be the favorite with driving enthusiasts. With plenty of overlap in pricing, sizing, features, and functionality, a brand new Honda Pilot EXL brings owners the satisfaction of a brand new car, though buying a used MDX means you'll skip the freight and PDI charge, perhaps putting the savings towards an extended warranty package, or towards the typically slightly higher cost of a certified pre-owned model. By the way, while the Honda Pilot's powertrain warranty is a 5-year, 100,000-kilometer ordeal, a certified pre-owned MDX also comes with extended powertrain coverage to 7 years, or 160,000 kilometers. The new Pilot has 3 years of roadside assistance coverage with no distance limit, but a certified pre-owned MDX comes with roadside assist for the duration of the powertrain warranty, leaving the Pilot in the dust with 7 years or 160,000 kilometers of coverage. Oh, and don't forget to consider some alternatives as well, including the Hyundai Palisade, Volkswagen Atlas, Toyota Highlander, and Ford Explorer. It's always nice to have choices. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below if you're watching on YouTube as well so you never miss a new upload. And if you're watching on television, then thanks for supporting local community cable TV. I'm Justin Pritchard, cheers from Sudbury, Ontario. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care and happy shopping.